Here at Woodpeckers, we're proud of the quality American-made tools we manufacture in our own shop. And work starts on the Blade Gauge 2.0 by milling the gauge holder out of a solid block of aircraft-grade aluminum. The raw aluminum blocks are first secured, then cycled into one of our state-of-the-art CNC mills for precise machining. While milling continues on the aluminum gauge holders, the angled blades are laser cut out of high quality stainless steel in our fabrication shop. To ensure the freshly cut parts are completely flat, we run them through our precision leveler and then check the blades for quality and straightness. We're fabricating the 4590 stainless steel triangles as well. After the laser cycle is complete, they're moved down to our laser engraving department. I'm Mark Heath, head laser technician here at Woodpeckers Inc. And this is our engraving department where we have about a dozen laser engravers that work around the clock to mark all of our products. And right now, I'm setting up one of our state-of-the-art fiber lasers to run both of the 4590 stainless steel triangle and the blade gauge. Both of these parts are a little more difficult to mark because instead of engraving them like we do with our anodized parts, which removes material and creates a layer of oxidization, we will be annealing them, which uses the high localized heat from the laser to pull the carbon to the surface, creating a high contrast mark. Now I have the laser set up for the blade gauge and I start the cycle with the blank parts from the fab shop now the cycle is just two parts. One will be coming out, the other will flip over, and then the new one will go in. Make sure they're secure. And the cycle's about two and a half minutes long. And they'll come out with the high contrast mark. And later today, I'll be running the 4590 stainless steel triangle, which basically goes through the same process. Both the stainless steel 4590 triangles and blade gauge 2.0 are now nearing the final stages of production. and will be shipped out of our shop through the end of September to eager woodworkers.